Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where we're looking just splendid. I'd wear that freaking skirt. Oh my gosh, and that armor looks really good. Anyway, we're gonna go hunt some cultists. We are going to go hunt some cultists. But to do that, because there's a specific one that I'm looking for, we need to go here to Socrates. We're gonna go chill with Socrates. We're gonna go do a life's work because in order to get the last cultist on the top left line of cultists in that specific league, we need to finish apparently a life's worth and then we'll find the location of that cultist. And then we can go get the sage, I think. Actually, I, I should look and see what level the sage is. It might be something where like you finish, it's not just like you finish all the cultists and then you go kill their sage, it might be more of a you finish a couple lines of cultists and then you go back and kill their sages, like once you've leveled up high enough. Let's see. This game is so pretty. Because I can't really see their level, but okay, yeah. So I can see. So yeah, this is about the perfect time to go and find this sage. Oh man, I wonder, we're not gonna be in Athens exactly, not in Athens proper, but it's been a while since we've been here. Nice. Oh crap. Don't see me. I hear a lion in the background. Lab Vero Silver Mine. Wait. You're not Socrates. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. Uh, okay. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. Uh, they sure. did. And you deserve their help. I can sense something in you. You're special. I like to think so. <laughs> Gods or not, like I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Yeah, there's not much, uh... If that was what you were hoping for, right? And then you lose that. Something as intrinsic to... Being as freedom. It's like, well, what's the point in living anymore? Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'll I mean, we all know, right? And make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. Then I'll punch she him. Will be with me. Like, there's... Nothing good about slavery. I, I don't know. There's not much else you can say besides that's pretty standard practice for slavery, for treating other human beings like their property or garbage. Even people treat their property better. People would treat their animals better. Is he? Oh my gosh. Is he killing his slaves? What the heck? You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves Maybe in Maybe if you were if kinder, they wouldn't work. need to be whipped. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. 
<laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Because you surround Spit yourself by slaves. While you're still entertaining. Fadon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar. But oh, I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There is a kill woman I'd like you to kill. Yeah. It'll leave her family to fend oh! for themselves. But the court of Cosmos oh, needs it done. I knew it! You're I knew a member it! Of the cult? Oh my gosh. That's true. Then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bear. I was gonna say, they're Tell gonna make this really complicated. Now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays there. <gasps> and I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. <gasps> Okay, I was gonna say, because it's a Socrates quest, right? So nothing, at least it says it's a Socrates quest. I don't know if it actually is, but it's labeled a Socrates quest. So I knew there was gonna be a big moral dilemma here. And I was gonna say it when he took a break, but he just dropped the big one right there. Wow, okay. I knew that they were, he was gonna be like, okay, in order to pay for this guy's freedom, I'm going to have to hurt somebody else. I'm going to have to take away somebody else's freedom essentially or hurt more people for one person's freedom even though this guy's obviously evil he's got like dead slaves right here and is like lying and taking this guy's hard-earned money and keeping him a slave still you know he's a terrible person and i want to kill him but if i kill him then i should i don't know the guy should just be free like i should be like i don't know i don't, I don't know it doesn't really work that way like i guess if you don't have like you don't have like proof of citizenship and background like even then in even back then if you don't have like a work history you know you can't really get a job you can't you can't be a citizen of somewhere if you don't have proof of citizenship or something you know and because he's a slave he doesn't have that all he has is his slave papers and so if he's running around like i'm just a person people are gonna be like you're an escaped slave or something like i'm sure there's a system in place you know where it's like if you don't have proof that you're a citizen of somewhere or, or like uh, some sort of history or people to verify you know then you'll be you know you're either you're either thrown out because they don't care like people are like yep but you don't have anything that we need you don't have proof of anything so bye or they'll know he's an escaped slave you know why does this woman need to die oh i'm sorry i didn't realize you needed to know that Wait, you don't. I mean, what I could do... No. It's a problem. Okay, not only is it something where I have to kill somebody else, but it's for the cult. Like, I have to be working for the cult. And I don't think I can do that. Because I knew it. Okay, so I knew it, right? We walked up to this guy. We walked with the slave guy. We're like, oh no, this is obviously terrible and I'm obviously going to help you, right? Any decent person, any halfway decent person is going to help this guy. So of course this game is gonna come up with something that makes it that I have to do something even worse than what this guy is going through and I have to pick between those two things. But which one makes me a good person and which one makes me a bad person? I know that's not how the real world works. Everything is gray. The world isn't black and white, you know? There's, there's nuance and subtlety and things that justice systems can't fully comprehend and that morality systems can't fully comprehend and that nobody can ever agree on. But in this game, where things tend to be binary in video games, because the game can only program for good and bad, really, which one's good and which one's bad? <laughs> I don't know. Fathom said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. But I can't. I can't work for the cult. Like, because like, everything Cassandra has worked for this whole, whole life, for like, or, you know, basically her whole life, I guess. Like, I can't do this. I can't. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? Or I just kill him and find the papers, because I can do that. I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom <sighs> is another's demise. Okay, I didn't. I thought that I was gonna do this quest and then find the cultist, but nope, I found it. 
Uh, there were those among us who had no sense of what was right or good. Take the man known only as the master, a horrifying abomination in the shape of a man. He did not oversee his quarry or slave trader for financial wealth, but for the wealth of information that could be used by the cult. Every merchant who traveled to him brought truth he could use and left with, left with the lies he chose for them to believe. Okay, but here's the problem, though. Is that in the game, I have to kill him. Like, I have to, he has to die. Like, he's a cultist. Like, I kill him. And then I kill his sage. Like, that's just how it is. That's just how it works. Like, I... So he has to die at some point. So, but if I... Even if I kill the woman and then kill him, I've still killed an innocent woman for the cult. And... Uh, Cassandra, ooh, ooh. what chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel I like I need chance. your help! Ah, so you wish for today's topic to <laughs> be about fate. <laughs> no, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. <laughs> Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. <laughs> I want that you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? So this is what I was expecting. This is what I was expecting was for him to come in here and make things complicated like this. But I feel like at this point, I kind of need his help. Okay, people aren't... Okay, say, people, all people are equal. Technically, yes, all people are equal. But, and that's like the, that's the, that's like the mantra that lots of societies like to have, right? Um, but, is that man back there, that bad man, that really evil man, that cult man, is he equal in worth to me? to like the slave guy you know no that bad guy should die he doesn't i don't think he has an equal right to life that the the prisoner guy the slave guy does you know like i i don't think so i don't so there's that so if i say if i say if i say people are equal Socrates is gonna be like oh even that guy over there he's 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 equal in worth to to like you or or me and if I say, people aren't equal, I'm an a-hole. <laughs> so... Ah! <laughs> it's so hard to debate philosophy with little blurbs. <laughs> All right, Take, okay, let's just go. Baseline, all people are equal. There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone uh, in prison? Well, that's old news. People can do different things with their lives, but the worth of a life isn't tied into like exactly what they contribute to society. A person's life is worth... It's an immeasurable worth, you know? Like, you can't measure a person's worth. Everybody's worth whatever they feel like, I'm not, I'm not, not even whatever they feel like they're worth, but they're all worth living. It's all worth living for, you know? Like, I don't, it doesn't matter to me if you're in charge of a country or if you're just like some, I don't know, living in some poverty-stricken hovel. Like, everybody wants, I don't everybody wants like the same things in their own way, I think? Maybe not, that's, that's a super general thing, but like, I don't know. I'm getting. I'm getting. Now I'm getting all tied up in it. And of course, there's like there's there's major cultural differences. There's major like, like like the the value of a life. Even within different cultures, like some people will value like the elderly more than other cultures, you know. And some people value children more than other cultures, you know. And so it all it's all really arbitrary when you put it in like a societal view. But I think like if you try to strip all that away. Even though you can't really, because biases are like ingrained, but like everybody's worth a universe, essentially. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's like the potential that every person has. I don't know. It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. 
So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child. An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. <laughs> Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You do, Socrates. Socrates, it did not help, actually. You did, it did not help. Wait, what? I didn't kill anybody. Uh. Save. <laughs> this is a save moment. I'm not going to kill a woman, an innocent woman. Like, if everybody's life is equal, then I can't kill somebody for somebody else, you know? But then again, I'm a freaking assassin and I run around murdering people all day long. You know what I mean? Like, this game keeps calling into question. It does, this game actually is really good at calling into question the value of a life. And it even makes the NPCs, like the guards, like if I kill somebody and they discover the body, the guard, other guards will say, you know, we'll, 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 you know, we'll, t we'll tell your family, you know, type thing, or we won't let you die in vain. So you can see that, like, even the NPCs, like, it shows how it would be in real life, or, like, they all have relationships and families, brothers and sisters and wives and husbands, like, they have people who love them, or, or at least know them and appreciate them, you know, and you killed them. You took that away from them. You took away their right to live, you know, you took away the happiness of the people who knew them, in a way, you know? But does this guy have a right to live? No. So then you're drawn all back into the argument again because people are obviously not equal because this guy doesn't deserve to live. No, no, no. <laughs> what is uh, I'm not going to kill someone, so you'll free Yay, I didn't have to decide. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Phaedon will remain my slave. Wait, what? I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. Was it by talking to Socrates that I did that? What? Did I make my decision by talking to Socrates? Hey, look at my how much money the money money amount I have. That was a little unfair. I mean, I guess not unfair per se because it makes sense. Like I I obviously like decided you know? And I was like, no, I'm not going to kill somebody for somebody else. Staff of knowledge. Even Socrates would say that truth, that the truth to knowledge is knowing that no one knows anything. Yep. Okay, so I should just kill this guy, right? Like, I mean, he's a cultist. Wait, do I have to... Hang on, let me check the cultist screen. Yeah, I have to kill him. Okay, well. Let me, uh... Can I just, like... Socrates, don't hate me. Yeah, bye. Okay, that was, uh, interesting. Give me. To Hades. Well, I don't know. Free at last! I'm forever indebted to you, friend. Ah, uh, just run away. I don't know. Find a bandit group guy, other guy. I don't know. I mean, I think what happens is when like the the owner dies or whatever. The papers are all taken to, like, the slaves are all sold on the market again, essentially. Like, they don't get their freedom when their owner dies, because otherwise there'll be slave revolts all the time, and their owners would be dead all the time. <sighs> Can't have that. You know? So. Oh, here, let me actually read the thing. Yeah, I, I, can't, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. And I don't know, maybe that makes me a bad person, but I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. I think it was a little better armor, yeah. It was good, but I like this, this hood. It was really pretty. 
Well, that was probably the easiest assassination I've had to do ever. You know? Alright, let's look at our first sage. Sage is a spy, named Shadow. What? You can't say named the Shadow and named Nyx, because that's the same thing! An Attica, waiting in an Agora. El Finor. Um. Sage, letter to me. Oh, we already read that. I think it was this one. Letter to the Master. Um. Soon will be the time to act. My contact, the fort captain who feeds me information, says Attica will soon fall, and chaos will reign over this place. Our sage has moved into place to prepare. These lands will be ours. Every coin flowing into the city, ours. We must work in the shadows to bend the light. Now bite your tongue. No one must know who you truly are or what we are planning. We must see, but go unseen. The eyes see all. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing gets past the eyes of Cosmos. Oh, she's pretty. Bummer. The eyes saw all, but were led by a woman few had ever seen, as one would expect. Nyx was, a, was only one of countless names worn by the Shadow. With these came entire personalities, lives, and histories. The cult needed a nobody, a faceless agent who could be anywhere, and the Shadow was that agent. Alright, let's go find her. It's okay, I just keep skipping over where I need to be, it's fine. Is she She's in Attica, so I'm gonna kind of... Ass oh, and this is an Agora! Yep, okay. Uh, I guess I'll fast travel here. Great game. Oh, the Socrates Pericles thing? No, that was kind of funny. It was like, well, not funny. It was just like, oh, whoopsie. This quest I should have done before, uh, letting Athens fall to the plague. My bad. But. Uh, I got into a discussion on Twitch the other day about, like, justice systems versus, like, not even versus morality systems, but, like, justice systems and morality systems, and, like, how justice is flawed as a concept, sort of. Not, I don't know. Again, like, there's so many ways to, like, talk about it, go around, like, discussing it, that, it, like, you can trip on your own words while trying to, like, explore a broader concept. You know? Not even, like, trip, but, like, I don't know, like, a tr in trying to explore a broader concept. I don't know, you can, you, I, I'll, like, it, I, I don't think, I didn't say anything on the Twitch stream that I regret saying. Everything I said, I think that I said right, but, like, now, where it's, like, I said, you know, morale, justice versus morality. It's, like, no, that's not exactly what I'm trying to say. It's, like, you know, so, anyway, that was something else, but, yeah, I am. Um, it was pretty interesting. I, I uh, still stand by what I said, but... It's always interesting to hear other opinions, though. And try to, you know, try to, like, when you hear another idea, to try to put your ideas against them. And, not even against them, really. It doesn't have to be, like, a fight or anything. It's just a, it's just a discussion where it's, like, comparing two ideas and seeing where the similarities and differences lie. And, like, maybe adjusting your own opinions and maybe uh, the other person adjusting their opinions slightly. And maybe neither one of you adjust your opinions and it's fine. <laughs> She. She doesn't have any guards. <laughs> this is gonna be easy peasy. I say before I go into a huge <sighs> protracted fight. I am gonna get in trouble for fighting in the middle of the city, but... Ah! Ow, ow, ow! No, 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 no. What was that? Oh, wow. Oh, she's got a... she's got a nasty boy. resistant to poison, but... Oh, snap! I couldn't even dodge! Okay, yep, this is gonna take a little longer than I thought. Hey, Maybe not longer, but... Hmm. 
I think my stealth kill is definitely the way to go. I got her down to half health, but then there's just so much health. Maybe I should keep my distance a bit since she's got daggers, and I'll use my bow. But then she pulls out that poison bow. Like, I saw that poison bow come out. I have a poison bow, too. So, we'll just be chucking poison at each other, I guess. It's a bummer, though, that I was able to instantly, like, back assassinate, like, like, full stealth assassinate that guy. And now her, it's like, nope, only half health. And it's just weird to me sometimes, like, how the game decides, because, like, some of the, especially some of the cultists, even from the beginning, I've been able to one-shot kill when they're not paying attention. But then there will be one person who's either, even the same level or just one level above, and they're incredibly difficult to kill. It doesn't, I'm not, like, unless, like, unless, like, the, I, I just feel like there's not, there's not a c consistency to enemies, unless it, like, increases by a huge exponential, ex exponential factor of some sort. But even then, like, I swear, like, there will be, like, level 25 guys that I'm, like, one-shotting from behind, and then, there are other ones that I can only get down to like half health or three quarters health. And I'm like, what exactly is is the arbitrary thing here? Does it have to do with their armor? Because she's not wearing any armor, but I could see like me having a harder time taking out somebody who's more fully armored. It might be easier to take out an assassin with a one shot kill from behind than rather than Is she moving? She's, she's wasn't she was further away before. Okay. Oh my Get it out! Oh, oh, it out! No! Well, get out now. Okay, come into the arena. Totally dodge that, by the way. <laughs> this is an epic uh, arrow face off. Oh, she's got a sword, not daggers. She's supposed to have. Oh, nice. Hang on. Oh, crap. I fired through the fire. And she... Oh, ooh, 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 I was trying to do a thing. Oh! I light myself on fire. How did I light myself on fire? Did I do it too close? Oh, that was a cool move. That one ability that I can use on like I won't do this. Regular this arrows has ended. Ha ha! I did it! Yay! Well, that was all in pretty good time. Ha ha! Take that. What? What is? Oh, I have a new. The ghost controls Athenian politics. Uh, she's a woman, I think. Maybe. I think that, yeah, I think she's a woman. She's got, like, the, I think the bracelet thing? I don't know, maybe not. Uh, a great rift is dividing the people of Athens. Also, wasn't it a woman that spoke in the meeting that was kind of in charge, I think? Like, forever ago in that first cultist meeting? A great rift is dividing the people of Athens. Soon that rift must be healed. The world will fall under one rule, ours. Your many eyes must look within those city walls and snuff out those who would seek to oppose our rule. Let Athens be an example for the world. Share nothing you see with the cult. What your eyes see, what your ears hear, is for me alone to know. The cosmos does not just demand it. Does not command it, he demands it. Okay, so she's trying to, like, take over. 
And this was the letter from the ghost to Nyx. Aha, I killed my first age. I think I will use those lovely legendary daggers. I get 40% damage when attacking from behind. Oh, that's so nice. I do that a lot, so it's really nice. Two daily wops. Nice. I mean, we could. It's like we could go talk to Ecclesiades. <laughs> Since we're here in Athens. Let's see how many more. This line is getting there. Where are you at? Mark. Come on. Well, it should, like, show me where you are. Ah, way up there. No wonder I haven't seen you. I haven't even been up there. Jeez. Well, let's go talk to Apparently. So we have that cultist, but I don't I don't have any clues. Oh, this is the this is that Attica Silvermine one that somebody I think uh, shoot, somebody did tell me how to do that one. I think I know how to do that one, but I'll Oh, and also, I actually technically have the entire set now for that shh, for that line of cultists that I killed. So I could wear like the entire armor weapon set if I wanted to. I don't think it was my favorite though. The blue one's my favorite. I can't wait to get that one. Someday. My dog is being all Oh, stop. You know what, maybe we'll travel here, and then I'll probably call it, partly because of the dog, and partly because we're probably reaching a pretty good time to stop. But when we get back, we'll go chat with the Cleviades again. And we'll actually be in Athens proper, like not at not main Athens, but we'll be like on the docks of Athens proper. I think. It'll be interesting to see. Has uh, Athens recovered somewhat? Haha! <laughs> oh, I've unlocked that engraving like permanently. Oh my gosh, I'm almost level 28. Look at that. Anyway, I will mark. Oh wait, oh wait. What, which cult? Which cult line was this? The Eye of Cosmos. That's right, because I have the Cosmos daggers now. So I have the Eye of Cosmos. The like the League or whatever of I, the Eye of Cosmos entire set of like armor and weapons. But it wasn't my favorite. Let's see, what is it? Is it gonna just show me, maybe? No, it's not gonna show me. It's okay. I think I stored some of them in on my ship, so I can go look at them there. But yeah, uh, designated rider. This is probably gonna be a continuation, maybe, of what we did last time, where we had to, yeah, do the penis in a box, <laughs> which was a really great, uh, like sort of a pop reference thing too sort of but it, i'm sure it has historical significance of some sort anyway thank you all for watching i really do appreciate it and i hope you're enjoying and i hope to see you in the next one